Anthony and Eleanor will be competing against other ice dance couples already on the performer squad who train in a specialist ice dance academy overseas. And so the odds are stacked up against them. Cinq, six, sept, eight. The Ice Academy of Montreal really is the most motivating place to skate in the world. There's around 20 couples that skate there and two thirds of them will compete at the World Championships. That's insane for... For one ice rink. And that's something you can't get in Great Britain. Smooth. A. Hit. And. Boom. A. So that was nice. We're currently seventh in the world, but we're working to climb higher this season. You see, it's a little bit clearer than what we had before. The intentions are there is just to drill it. I don't have a British accent because my parents are Canadian, but I grew up living in London. All my memories of skating are at an ice rink, whether it's Bradford, Romford, Guildford, some kind of furred, and feel really lucky to be able to represent Great Britain. And one, and two, and exit. Training in an elite environment does so much for a skater to excel at a higher level. That start of that diagonal, just getting like a little bit. Then a skater who's in a smaller rink who is the best skater in that rink. Up and coming young skaters improve exponentially by being exposed daily to world class. So my job as a coach here in the UK is much harder because I have to make young people conceive something that they can't visually see. Fingers out of I can't afford to go abroad and train. I work at Ice Sheffield to pay for my skating and train here. Even though it does seem very unlikely that we're going to be our main rivals, we don't want to embarrass ourselves. We still want to score as highly as we can to close that gap and make it feel like we're worthy of sharing the podium with them. And it push here. Chasse, push, push. Take speed, attack. Always a bit late on that ending, but we're going to be working on that. Good job!